Hey guys, what's up? It's time for our monthly Brat Box unboxing. I'm not even going to guess which number this is because I always do and I'm typically wrong. But I believe it's like maybe box eight or nine. Don't quote me. It, the correct number will be in the title. This is a subscription box that my dear, dear, amazing friend Billy gifted me to uh, an annual subscription for my birthday back in May. But I believe my first box came in April. I'm not 100% sure, which is why I'm never... 100% sure how many months I have left going. But anyhow, this is a subscription where you can get either four pins and a sticker every month or three pins, one patch and a sticker every month. And for me, Billy chose the three pins, one patch, one sticker option because she knows I love all three of those things. They are what we call consumables. Billy mentioned the phrase first and it really resonated with me. Um, I'm a hoarder. I have definite issues with hoarding. I'm not going to even beat around the bush. I do. Um, it's not what you see on TV. There are levels to it, just like there are to so many other things, but I'm not going to not own the fact that I'm a hoarder. So I'm really trying not to collect or acquire many things or any things. But in the cases that I do, pins and stickers and patches, at least, again, are consumables. A patch goes on a piece of clothing. You wear the piece of clothing. The clothing wears out. Bye-bye patch. Same with a sticker. You put the sticker on something. Eventually, the thing's not there anymore. And the pin you wear or you display on a pin board, and it doesn't really take up any space in your life. So anyway, <clears throat> I love this subscription box so much. Sorry, my throat is scratchy. Um... But this is what the box looks like every month. It's adorable. It reminds me of my brother and I. And um, I love, though, that she's got a mouse on her head and he's got a snake around his neck. Like, they're ready to attack each other like the brother and sister. It's just so cute. But anywho, um, I want to say that the theme I chose for this month, because you get three a choice of three themes. You can choose from one artist-curated box where everything in the box um, with the exception, I think, of the sticker. I don't think the sticker necessarily corresponds with one of the box artists, but I, I'm still unclear about that. But um, the pins, the four pins or the three pins in the patch would all be by one specific artist. Um, then that's always an option, and they choose one artist to feature each month. <clears throat> Second choice um, had something to do with, like, nerd life or something. And the third one, oh, I can't remember. I was very tempted by all three actually this month, but I went with the nerd one. So I'm gonna dive in. Do, 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 do. A little teaser and see what we've got. I'm just gonna grab something. Okay, it feels like I've got. Ooh, what is this? Flare Affair. What is this? Is this the patch? But it doesn't have any iron on area. Is this literally just like a little funsy extra thing that you could like stick some pins on? Because if that's what this is, this is rad as fuck. Bratbox does occasionally put in like a little bonus gifty. I'm wondering if that's what this is. Like it's like a little mini pin board. If that's what that is, that's cool. That's very cool. I am feeling something else that could be the patch. So if that is what I'm thinking. Oh wait, this is the artist cards. In each box, you get four artist cards, unless obviously you get the curated box in which you would just get the card for that one artist. But they represent um, either the artists that do each of your four pins, if you have that subscription option, or the pin, the artists that do the three pins and the patch. Like I said, the sticker artist, I don't think is even necessarily someone featured in the box in any other way, but I am not 100% certain, so don't quote me on that. I'm just opening this now because it's kind of icky sticky and at the end of the unboxing we'll go through the out the artist cards i want to feel because i don't see how that could be the patch because there's no way to nope it's not okay cool so <laughs> so the patch says let me overthink this yeah that's really very much me in a patch form that's super rad i love that Okay, so yeah, that's got like the regular sticky like how to iron a patch on. So this is literally just like I think a total bonus that you could just stick a few a few pin pieces on and just jazz up. I love that. There have been months where I've gotten more than one sticker as well. And then one month I think I got 
um, I think it was like a push pin pin and it was for like six months subscription or eight months subscription or something. So occasionally you find extra little bonuses as well, but you're guaranteed to get one sticker, one patch and three pins or one sticker and four pins every month, depending on which you know, one you choose. Okay, let's see, let's see. I feel some pins that are in a plastic, or well, I feel one in a plastic baggie and two that are not. We'll go with the plastic baggie first. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, I love that. That is the letters from the chemistry chart. Um, the periodic table of elements. <laughs> I am a little bit smart. Oh, I am a little bit nerdy. Well, yeah, I'm a lot nerdy, but um, science is never my strongest point, but it's for N-E-R-D-Y, and I don't know what those elements are, so someone smarter than me, please let me know. N is 7, E-R is 68, and D-Y is 66, and that is by Pin Alchemy. I like that name too, and that is rad, and I love the color of them. I love that they're like that, like almost slate, tealy kind of washed out tealy blue love 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 they also kind of remind me of scrabble pieces and i love scrabble too so yeah nerd dumb is 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 now solidified okay second item we have here is hmm oh this is just a card okay but it says ripple splash studio i don't know if that's a sticker i think that's just a little card and there's info on the back um if you need info for anybody that I don't post a clear enough shot of, just let me know later and I can um, add that to the Dropbox. Okay, here's the sticker. <laughs> it says missing jackalope. That's funny. I don't quite get that because the only references I remember to a jackalope were on like um, America's Funniest Home Videos, like Dave Coulier used to reference something about a jackalope, but I don't really get the joke. It's cute, though. I guess I'm not nerdy enough. Someone fill me in. Fill me in, fill me in, fill me in. All right, we have another one of the pins, and that one is the plan. Let's see. Oh, my gosh. So it is a little, um, a beaker, and um, is that a test tube in the back? <laughs> It's been a long time since I studied science. 11th grade when I took advanced, what did I take in 11th grade? Did I stop in 10th? No, no, 10th was chemistry. Oh, I hated chemistry, it was so hard. 11th was something else. And then senior year I was supposed to take AP physics. And I said, oh hell no, it's not gonna happen. And I finally rebelled. But anyway, um, I think that's a test tube in a beaker. No, I don't know. I know I'm saying that wrong with a little froggy inside. It's like, you're not going to experiment on me, fuckers. I'm just going to chill inside this little, whatever you call it. <laughs> but I love this pin. And this one is by Sugar X Nova or Sugar by Nova. I don't know. It's Sugar and the letter X and Nova it looks like to me. We'll figure that out. All right. And we have one more pin. And I think that's it. Yeah, I think what we have left is just our little... Wiggle worms. All right, let's see. But bam! Is that a juice box? That is a juice box. Is there a peach on there? And it says, never expire 100% sass. I love that. I actually love that. I think that's definitely more sassy than nerdy, but I love that. That is definitely me. So these are probably are among my three favorite pins that I've gotten. I really, really like the patch. I really like that little bonus flare board, I guess, which is so cool. And the sticker's adorable. I just don't get the Jackalope thing. I'm wondering if Ripple Splash Studio made the Jackalope sticker and they've got to put like a mini card in too, which is really cool. But someone please explain the joke to me if I'm missing something beyond the references to a Jackalope on America's Funniest Home Videos. Anywho, um, Dave Coulier, no, wasn't it Bob Saget that hosted that? But Dave Coulier would come on, I don't know, the Jackalope has something to do with Dave Coulier, I swear it does. All right, anyway, moving right along, Pin Alchemy, the nerdy pin, Ta -ta, is by Greg Brinkerhoff, the creator of Pin Alchemy, and there is Greg. 
I know that symbol. Is that, is that something to do with either Firefly or um, Destiny? I feel it's something that my husband and I, well, my husband and I are both into Firefly, but my husband's into Destiny. That symbol looks familiar. Anyway, Pin Alchemy is located in Eagle Mountain, Utah. My name is Greg Brinkerhoff, and I am the creative mind behind Pin Alchemy. Simple design and groan-inducing puns are what I'm all about. I make art for the nerdy and socially awkward. Designing pins is the one thing that I both enjoy and have somehow tricked people into paying me for. Fun fact, I have never eaten anything I thought was, quote, too spicy. And that's very rad. And his um, Insta is at pin underscore alchemy. So that's easy enough. But there is Greg. And he made the nerdy pin. Then we have, let's see, Ripple Splash Studio is... Hmm. Ripple Splash Studio. Must, oh, is, pa is the patch, I think. So did they have a mini card in there as well? I guess they did. Yes. Okay. They must have done the patch. That's right. Because, yeah, the sticker creator doesn't usually get a credit unless they also are a creator of one of the other items. But anyway, I'm going to brutalize these names. Please forgive me. I'm going to go, go with Arash, Akari, and Zore. Koda Parast. I hope I even came close. They are visual artists and the creators of Ripple Splash Studio. And there they are. And it says on the back that they are based in Montreal, Canada. Ripple Splash is a team of two visual artists based in Montreal who are passionate about turning their designs into products that can bring colors and joy into the life of others. They turn their designs into enamel pins, stickers, fridge magnets, and printable art, and they strive to create things that make people happy and feel unique about it. The designs are inspired by nature, people, and life experiences, and you can find them on Insta at Ripple Splash Studio. So that, again, simple enough, and there they are. Then we have Candy Soon, who is the pin designer and creator Let's see, for Occasionalish, which made this adorable 100% sassy juice, or 100% sass juice box pin. So cute. And there is Candy. I like the background where she has her photo. That's really cool. And Occasionalish is based in the San Francisco Bay Area of California. And it just says, I believe that an ordinary day can be Occasionalish. And she has Occasionalish in quotes. Fun fact, unpopular opinion, but I actually love nine to five and never thought I would run a business. And her Insta is at Occasionalish. So then another easy to remember one. And then last but certainly not least, we have Sugar Nova, which is the adorable little froggy in the, and I know it's not a beaker. One of these is, one of these is a beaker. I think that's, that's a beaker. Yeah, cause like that's, I think. That has a name. I just can't think of it. But anyway, I love that pen. It's so cute. And that was created by Molly Rose Bohannon, the creator of Sugar Nova. And how cute is her card with the little kitty cat and the little rainbow and stars and kawaii goodness. I love that. And Sugar Nova is based out of Provo, Utah. Sugar Nova was started just three days after coming home from the hospital with my firstborn. I love messing around with puns and wordplay, both in pins and my art. The name Sugar Nova, for example, is a play on the word supernova. I loved the visual of an explosion of sweetness and cute things being released into the universe, and it all grew from there. Making art brings me so much joy and is something that is constantly on my mind. Many of my pin designs are created with the hope that I can help others to feel inspired and help give them courage to find love to find and love the art inside of them. I love seeing all the different things people can create. And fun fact, I worked for four years as a dental assistant before getting into the art field because I never thought I could make it as an artist. Well, you proved everyone wrong and yourself as well, Molly Rose. So good for you, girl. So those are the wonderful artists responsible for the goodies in this fantastic box. I'm really, really, really very happy with it. There's nothing in here I am displeased with at all. Like I said, I'm a little confused by the jackalope thing. You're all going to probably make me feel so embarrassed when you say, like, how obvious it is. Or, yeah, no, it, it's just the thing from America's Funniest Home Videos. There's nothing more to it. It's just not that funny of a joke. I don't know. 
and no offense to the creator of it because again it's an adorable pin I'm just not aware of the reference so anywho thank you so much for watching you guys I love you all so so much have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll be back soon with more stuff bye